Okay. Oh, he's got some money for us. A few thousand cats here and there. Oh, and he's got a Mato longsword. We'll take that. Thank you very much, sir. Well, there goes nothing. Hey everybody, welcome back to Kenshi Celebrity Slaves, where we started off as a one-armed United States slave and are now building an elite death squad of freed Kenshi celebrities. Today, we need to get the hell back out of slavery. We took out Celeb Team Celeb Team 6 and got our butts kicked uh, by about a thousand Reavers. Uh, we tried to take down this camp while a bunch of the Pathers were still here. And boy, I'll tell you what, guys, we were rocking it. Absolutely kicking the crap out of them. And then the tide just turned. We took too much damage. And uh, we made the mistake of letting somebody get on this turret up here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so we ended up taking quite a bit of damage, getting knocked out. Tobol had his backpack stolen. Poor guy. I mean, seriously, who takes Tobol's backpack? So, our current team today consists of Sabouts, Aviticus, Dragon, Tobol, Shidan, Rikon, Hatsune Neko, and Rodamont. Guys, thank you all so much for the continued support on this series. You guys have been so amazing. I love you. And if you're new to the channel and you're a fan of Awesome Sauce, feel free to subscribe for your daily dose because we love Awesome Sauce here. Now, oh boy, this is crazy. This is the first time I've ever been enslaved by Reavers. I've been enslaved plenty in this playthrough by the United Cities, but we decided to have a little fun with the Reavers since they're, you know, they're, they condone slavery as well and they practice it regularly. So we thought, yeah, well, let's take them down. Uh, it didn't quite work out in our favor. So here we are. Two of our guys uh, are being toted around, Rykon and Tobol. We got Shidan. Is, oh, he's still in shackles. I didn't even get him out of those shackles. He got pretty mangled. He's he's pretty much healed up at this point. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and unlock his shackles for him. Poor guy, just laying there. Okay. He could probably put his clothes back on now, too. Also, uh, in case you didn't see this in the last episode, it turns out... That if you take your backpack and put it in your inventory instead of just uh, wearing it, the Reavers will take it. So we actually found a Reaver wearing this backpack that belongs to Tobol. So let's go ahead and put Shidan's gear back on because we're going to need his help for this. So Aviticus and Shidan are now the rescue party. Now, Sabouts, I'm going to move him out of the rescue party. He's not going to be a, a part of the rescue. Um, normally... You know what? Never mind. Let, let's bring him in. Now, he he's actually, right now, he's currently bringing... Um, is he already back? He might already be back there. Oh, yeah, he is. Okay, so Spouts is already back here. So I was running um, Rodamont back here because Rodamont just got absolutely destroyed. Look at this, right? <laughs> Rodamont got just wrecked. So, we're going to get Rodamont back inside. We'll put him in a bed here so he can heal up. Uh, oh, okay, I thought they were attacking me for a second. No, they're just just—they're working on these rebel farmers that are just keep waking up. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, anyway, we'll get him upstairs and in bed. Uh, and she done. Poor guy. All right, he's got all his gear back on. And then we'll need to get that backpack over to Tobol. Now, Tobol can't really run away. But you know what I'm wondering? Can we get over there with Leviticus and just and just grab him? I think we can. These guys are too slow to get away on their own. But I am wondering. Oh, there's archers there, though, guys. Man, that makes me so nervous. I I mean, I say we try it. Let's do it. Let's just get in there and pick him up. Leviticus is pretty fast. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get in there, pick him up, and just run away with him. See if we can get out of there. <laughs> and then Rikon. Uh, Rikon is just... Uh, he's going to have to deal with it. Oh, there's too many of these dudes. I don't know that we can get over there. Here he comes. Come on, Leviticus. <laughs> All right, guys. Can we pick him up? Oh, we got him. We got him. Yeah, dude. Oh, my God. We're taking damage in the leg. Not a lot, though. Can we get away before we take enough damage in the leg to get slowed down? Come on, dude. Run, 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 run. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's the way to rescue your slaves, guys. Just run in with a Viticus dragon. Oh, man. Look at all those dudes chasing us. Okay, all right, we're good. Rykon is still in slavery, but at least we got one of them back out, right? All right, guys, we're in the process of healing up, and uh, a couple of Reavers came to the camp. We just dealt with some slaves. They are pretty minuscule, nothing of importance, uh, but it looks like this this they're going to bring the fight to us, so we really need to deal with these guys quickly. Tobel is still injured, but he's he's current, he's definitely strong, so he shouldn't have any problems here. Yep, he's doing okay. Uh, we can take hold off here. We definitely don't need hold on. Go ahead and get in there, Tobel. Very nice. We cleared those guys up. No problem. All right, Shidan, you don't need to be running off going crazy. All right, guys, it's time to see if we can get in here and rescue Rykon. It doesn't look like he's got much going on. Really at all. I don't I don't see anybody over here. There's dudes on the ground, but it seems like that's about it. Oh, what is this? That is a reaver whelp. Okay. We'll go ahead and put everybody on hold, of course, as always. Slow it down just a little bit here. Get some good shots in with Shadon. And if that guy ever gets close enough. <laughs> nope. Shidan has a good amount of ammo, right? No, he does not. Okay. I thought I picked up some more ammo. Must have picked it up on somebody else and not traded it. Yeah, I did. I picked it up on Aviticus. So let's go ahead and move that over to Shidan. Give him the rest of that ammo. Okay. So he's got a little bit more now. All right. Now there's some guys on the gate here. Not too big of a deal. Rykon, poor guy. <laughs> he's minus. He's at two miles an hour. Okay, now we got to get up and get on this chick that's on the turret. Mm, either that or I got to get around. What's this dude doing? Is he coming out to engage us? I hope so. He is. He's attacking enemies, but he's going to take ages to get over here. I shouldn't have moved. That's not what I wanted to do. I did not want to move him, because if I do, then he's not being an obedient slave, right? Okay, he is now. Good. Okay, so we'll just wait for these guys to come out here, and we'll deal with them as they come. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit farther away, because I do not want to be super close to that gate. And we want to make sure we're out of line instead of that turret. Ugh. I don't know. Okay, let's get over here. Looks like they did bring an archer, which is fine. Okay, they've got four guys, actually. It looks like, oh my god. Okay, we need to take these guys out nice and quick. Reaver blooded. Get them. Come on, Aviticus, charge in there. There you go, bud. All right. Oh, he's on hold. Get in there, guys. Get in there. Come on. We got to take these guys out really fast. Okay, he's down. Let's focus. Let's get this guy down. Okay, this one next. Nice job, Tobel. Nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, now, here. Get this guy. Nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal up. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is, who's, who's coming for us? Is it this dude is barely moving? That's fine. All right. I'm going to go ahead and execute these guys. I mean, that's guys, it's going to take him forever to get here. I'm not worried about that. I can't even tell who's coming for us. Uh, maybe we won't execute him. Looks like there's a few guys coming over here. Actually. Yeah. Here's one. Okay. And then we've got one coming around behind us too. Okay. So. We'll engage these guys. Once he comes around the corner. Okay, go get him. Nice job. Nice job, Aviticus. There we go, Tobel. Nice job, guys. Get back around the corner. Get y'all healed up. Okay, who's coming in now? Oop, freed folk. Sabouts, what are you getting in a fight with? A skimmer that's chasing you? whoop de doo I'm sending him over to buy a, a limb. Yeah, he's he's so fast. Um, can we just get you to sneak here? Okay. Switch back to Shidan. 
All right. Let's see who's coming for us at this point. Got that one guy, and we got a guy over here coming around behind us to the right. So we'll deal with him first. Let's get him taken care of. There you go. Nice. Good strike. Good strike. Oh, yeah, Viticus. Oh. All right. That guy's down. So now we've got this archer coming around here. Okay. Get him. Oh, wow. How do you hit both of them? That's crazy. All right. He's down. Oh, we got another guy getting up here. Okay. Let's deal with him. Okay. Someone else aggroed. Who's he shooting at now? What are you shooting at? Uh, what? Oh, that's just a light. Okay. Um, I don't see anybody that's coming for us. I feel like we should just execute these dudes. Oh, no, I was wrong. Here's a guy coming over here. We'll wait for him to get here. I'm just going to check about so when I start to see him being injured by acid rain, that's how I know he's he's in the desert. Or not in the desert, in uh, Black Desert City. Or heading to Black Desert City through the Deadlands, I think it's called. All right, go get him. Ooh, just took some damage on Shidan. Wasn't expecting that guy to get up right as we were engaging. That's okay, Shidan has a pretty freaking awesome weapon. We are taking a little bit of damage here. Is he just continuously pulling people because he's unranged? Maybe I should just take him off arranged for now. Let's get over here and take this dude out. Oh, get him. Don't let him band-aid. All right. Yeah, I think he was just aggroing because he was unranged. Oh, we got a couple more guys coming in, actually. Jeez. It's just a, it's never-ending, guys. There we go. Aviticus getting a nice hit in there. Tobol just so fast with that saber at this point. Okay, let's get this guy. There you go. Yeah. Everybody's going down so fast now, though. All right, here's some more archers. There, nice strikes, nice strikes. Get in there. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, just cutting them to pieces. Okay. Uh, looks like we're doing just fine. All right, we're charging in here, getting up on this turret, guys. That guy's not even, like, he's not even attacking us. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be aggroed. He says, it says fighting for master, but he's not red to us, right? Interesting. Well, okay. Let's see, who's got the highest strength? Most likely Aviticus, I'm sure. Yep. Let's go ahead and pick up... Uh, the guy we need to rescue. I need to get Hatsune out of here. Because I should have said the gal we're going to rescue. It's not a guy, but... Ooh, ooh. I thought for a second there that turret was going to be shooting at us. It looked like it sure was. Okay, let's go ahead and pull over to this position here and see if they follow us. What is that, just a slave that's following us? Yeah, it's just a slave, man. I don't really want to kill these slaves. I mean, I'm not going to execute. I have not executed any slaves yet, by the way. I've simply been knocking them out. I haven't been healing them. I guess I could, but I just haven't been killing them. Okay. We've got Rykon. Or, sorry, not Rykon. We've got Hatsune now. Where's Rykon at anyway? He's just in a building over here? Yeah. How's his leg doing? It's still toast. Alrighty, dudes. Uh, we made it back here with Rodamon. I did. I went over, got him a leg. Um, let's see. Just want to make sure everyone had fed. Sabouts actually got stuck and was like just treading water in acid. It was pretty funny. Um, got him out of there. Okay, so um, right now, Rodamont is on his way, and he's basically right. He's basically here, uh, but he has some samurai trailing him, so we need to deal with them. So let's do exactly that. Let's deselect our icon. We don't want him to get involved. And it looks like some other guys are following him, too. Let's see if he can get a good hit in. And boom, look at that, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so good. 
Oh, and Rodamon's parry is so good too. Yeah, we just cleaned cleaned those guys up like it was nothing. Just checking to see if there's any other guys following. It doesn't look like it. All right, let's take care of this group of reavers up here. And he's got a couple slaves with him, but we just want to. I just want to kill this reaver mainly, so he's not an issue for us anymore. Oh, nice! Look at that. So we basically were able to kill this guy before any of these dudes even attacked us at all. And it looks like now they're... Are they joining us? Why is that? What's the deal here? Vagrants. Okay, you're free. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy's shackles. Hope this comes back to you somehow. What does that mean? Where's Shidon going? Protecting allies. Who's attacking Rykon? Why is Rykon not being an obedient slave? Uh. Okay, well that's not good. Yeah, why is Rykon not being an obedient slave? <laughs> hey, maybe we'll get lucky and his arm will get taken off. There's no way you can get out of that shackle. Um, is anybody on this turret? Yeah, there's a guy on that turret. All right, well, let's just see what happens to Rykon, because there's just no way we can get over there in time, right? Oh, he's coming with us. Okay. So at this point, probably we need to get over there and help Rykon. We also need to, I think, go into AI and re-enable, help out, or not heal. Yeah, we don't want to help allies, we want to heal allies. Okay. These are just slaves. Let's see if unlocking their shackles would do any good. We could actually take a look at Rykon. Yeah, he's just getting shot. Okay, that's fine. I don't understand why he... I don't understand why Obedient Slave turned off. Maybe because we actually, maybe because this the Reaver that we just killed was his master. I'm kind of thinking that might have been it. That didn't seem to work. Oh. What are we doing here? Let's take a look. Medic, probably medicking Rykon, I would imagine. Okay. All right, let's get over here. Uh, I'm gonna try to get behind this building. Doesn't seem like anybody's aggroing on us. I guess we'll just heal him up. See if we can set jobs. Yep, splint injuries. Some of us won't have won't have um, robotics yet, but that's okay. We'll need to wait for somebody to take some. Oh, dang it! We'll need to wait for somebody to take some damage to a robotic limb. Oh, I don't think I actually showed you what I got Rodham on here. Let me show you here real quick. Uh, so I just bought him a specialist berserker's leg. That's the best one that was. That's really the best one we could afford anyway. So even if there was a master worker, it wouldn't have mattered because we basically sold all the weapons that we had looted before that were sitting in our cabinet, and that gave us enough. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're sitting on. So he's got plus 8% athletics, plus his shoes, which give the 10% athletics. So he's going 24 miles an hour, which is awesome. So that's about as good as we can do for now. Well, we got some guys over here. I really don't like that that, guy's on, that guy up there is on the turret. That guy does have a crossbow, it looks like. Yeah. Doesn't seem like any of these guys are aggroed on us, though. I wonder if they're kind of bugged out or what's the deal. 
Uh, either way, we're going to want to get in there, right? I guess we'll let him heal up first. I can't tell who this guy's shooting at. He might be shooting at our new compatriot. I don't want that. Why are you not helping with first aid, Rodamont? Hmm. Probably because Rikon's already fixed up. Okay. Now, let's get all this crap out of his inventory. Whoops. That was interesting. And then we'll go ahead and equip his gear in case he gets shot. Oh, all his ammo's Oh, I think he used up all his ammo, actually. Okay. And then I think we can pick him up with a Viticus. Who's got the most strength available, or carry weight available? I think it's going to have to be a Viticus. How long until he wakes up? 116 seconds, plus his leg is screwed anyway. What is his speed? Yeah, still three. Okay, let's go ahead and pick him up. All right, and then let's deal with this Reaver over here. And we gotta be, gotta be mindful. Come on, get in there. There you go, Shadon just charging in there. Nice. Let's see if we can free these slaves. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, we got some more Reavers coming in. Let's get this guy. Nice hit. Oh, Hatsune coming in there. Rot him on with that crazy weapon still. Okay. How we all doing? Looks like we're fine. The guy on the turret doesn't seem to be attacking us, so I'm pretty happy about that. All right, well, that slave actually uh, at some point said, you know, I'm out of here. <laughs> so definitely uh, rescued one, but... Didn't, didn't join us, so. All right, here we go. Let's get back inside of here um, and see if we can find some more Reavers, huh? Is this a barracks? All right, let's get in here. I think we've killed enough of these Reavers that we can dare greatly. Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> All right, boys. This is going to be crazy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hopefully we take out some of these guys before too many of them join. I don't see any coming from down, coming from upstairs. So I think uh, we killed a lot of the ones in our previous fights, ones that were coming out and chasing us and trying to engage us outside. And I think a lot of the other guys were roamers too. Nice, Rykon. Yeah. Okay, I made short work of that barracks. Nice. <laughs> That's what happens when you get your butt kicked in slavery and escape. Let's take a look at stats here. Look at the martial arts, dude. What? Oh, an in what? Indoors bonus. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know you got an indoors bonus for martial art. That's awesome. I had no idea, guys. That's so cool. You learn new things and catchy all the time. It's amazing how much how complex this game is. All right. 5853. I'm gonna look at it here so that we don't have to compensate for the bonuses. And of course, they you know the bonuses are gonna change their performance but I mainly want to see the stats regardless of their indoor and outdoor, you know? Okay, so 50, 59, 53, uh, 58, 53, 55, 54, 60, 64 on Rikon. Oh my God, dude's getting the absolute monster. Hatsune, look at that, 58, 57. And Rodamont, what? Rodamont, 63, 67. Oh my God holy crap dude dude you guys are becoming absolute beasts it's crazy okay what do we got going on upstairs you guys stuck behind the bed yeah that's what i figured i still haven't fixed that all right let's see if we can get this guy if not we'll turn on ranged <laughs> oh now our dudes are stuck behind the bed probably that's hilarious all right right on tear him up 
There you go. There you go. Push him outside. That way we'll be stuck behind the bed. All right, sweet. <laughs> now we got to rescue our dudes. I don't mean rescue them. I mean, you just you pick them up, right? We got to pick them up. There we go. All right, we got all those guys taken care of. And let's head over to this other barracks here. Looks like we got a guy outside. We can deal with him. A couple of them. I have one crawling around the ground. There you go. Nice job. Get this guy. Yup. Easy peasy. Uh, what kind of building is this? It says it's residential. I guess some reavers live there, huh? All right, let's get inside here. Clear it out. A couple reavers here and there. All right. Let's deal with them. Nice job. Nice job. Oh, we got a slave joining too, it looks like. We're not going to worry about those guys getting upstairs. We know our guys are just strong enough to handle this stuff. So let's watch Inviticus here. Absolutely dominate. He's getting hit a couple times, but in general, he's just super strong. Who are we fighting outside now? <laughs> yeah, get him. There you go. There you go. Nice. Very nice. Okay. All right, we had a couple guys trickle into the building uh, here and there. Uh, we're kind of cleaning up, and it looks like we just aggroed a group of dudes that are from this building over here, so we're going to go ahead and deal with them and clear out that building. Oh, it looks like there's another one back here, too. There's a building just called Trashed. I don't know what that means. There's another barracks. And then this is, what, another residential, I guess? Okay, so we'll deal with those. All right, let's get locked in with these dudes here. Come on, Rodamont, get that big swing in, big guy. Come on, get them both. Hit him, hit him. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I can't wait until he's fast with that thing, man. If you guys remember from our last playthrough, you know, Cannibal Hunters, like, at one point, um, after getting cybernetic limbs, we got so strong. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get focused down. Down here. Let's see if Hatsune can deal with this out here. Oh, she's getting hammered by. Look at that armor, though, man. No problem. Oh, man, Aviticus just pummeling that dude. All right, no problem. Man, we're just dominating at this point. I think, you know, when we came in here before, it was, it was basically because we had so many of them. I mean, we f must have been 50 or 60, right? It was insane. So cool. Well, I mean, this building uh, that said it was trashed is quite literally a trashed building. <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. Uh, maybe some medical supplies. Any locked chests? Nah. Nope, nothing for us to really get up there. Let's let's get in this other barracks and check it out. Let's take a look at our team's health before we get too crazy. Yeah, we're doing just fine. Definitely taking a little bit of damage, but nothing crazy. All right, let's uh, fight these guys downstairs. Oh, why are we... Oh, because I didn't have everybody selected. Dang it. Get downstairs, guys. Come on, get downstairs. Let's engage. All right, here we go. Lots more in this building, though. Oof, oof. Man, we're taking a ton of damage here. Oof, Rodamont looking good with that. That, uh, what is it called? Let's let's take a look at Rodamont's weapon. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, Reinforced Saber, that's right. Cool. All right. Rykon looking good with that bow. I'm loving it. It'd be cool if all of our dudes were in heavy armor, right? So that our archers, it just wouldn't matter if they hit us ever. They wouldn't even take damage, right? All right. Get everybody healed up. Oh, I should have set everybody to robotics. Yeah. Oh, well. No big deal. Next time we take damage, I'll try to remember. Uh, okay, let's check upstairs, see if there's anybody up there. Yeah, of course, there's one of these guys. This seems like a good opportunity to work on. Let's put these guys on hold. Let's get up here with Rikon. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, don't shoot me. Get him. There you go, Rikon. Nice job. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I really like this three-shot ranger. It's pretty sweet. Okay, we got one building left here, it looks like. I actually checked this one, too, right here. There's just nothing in it. 
So we're going to get in here the old noble house. Uh, we are going to free all those slaves out here too once we're done. But I just want to get rid of all the reavers first, right guys? So let's get in here and see what we can find. I wonder if we've already killed all the guys like from fighting outside. Yeah. Uh, but it does look like, I say we check all these safes and stuff. Now I'm, I'm guessing that it'll just be the same junk. Although we're getting pretty low on cash. So we probably want to, I'd say we probably want to loot this place. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, do exactly that pick all the locks uh, get into all these chests and loot everything that's of value and then we'll kind of go over the loot after we're done looting it all up okay so you know standard stuff pearl vases pearl urns luxury goods sake pretty much you know luxury we took the fancy rugs um, you know just kind of loaded up on that stuff we've seen this time and time before when freeing one of the when liberating one of these camps so nothing really different there uh, let's see, Hatsune is the slowest. Rodamont is now getting pretty quick, especially now that he's got the shoes and that one leg. Okay, let's get in here and, and see if we can free all these slaves, see if any of them will join our cause. Oh, there's a Reaver in here. I guess we'll deal with him first. <laughs> oh, see you later, buddy. All right, so we liberated all the slaves, uh, but only one of them followed us, and I think he's a grass pirate. Yeah, he's a grass pirate. I think it's pretty unlikely that he's going to join. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. The tough part is getting into a fight while, you know, they're sort of like in your vicinity because then you attack them once you're done killing everyone else. So I'll give him a chance to, to catch up. We're going to head back and drop off all this uh, loot and sell some of it if there's any money at the the vendors in the, the tech hunters town and if not then we're gonna start making our way up towards i think hang right if i remember the name of the town right yep we're gonna start pushing into hang and trader's edge and then heft would be of course the the last target up here in the north and then we'll start building our base and then pushing down south all right guys well on our way back to the tech hunters base uh we ran into a group of samurai with some slaves. So we, of course, need to liberate these guys. So let's do exactly that. Noble captain. Whew. These guys are strong. Oh, right. Everybody's got hold and passive on. Because I didn't want to attack this guy. He may just be a casualty of war at this point. Oh, we're going... Oh, we're attacking the slave over there. I don't like that. Of course, these slavers are here with us, the anti-slavers, so they should help out. All right, yeah. Dominating, absolutely dominating, guys. Okay, now we're going to put passive on, see if we can prevent ourselves from attacking that one dude. The slaves, anyway. Let's go ahead and heal up these slaves, too. Oh, he's unconscious for a bit. Whew. Go ahead and unlock this guy's shackles. Wish they'd hold still. I don't think it matters. They're just leaving anyway, but might as well do the right thing. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, doesn't seem like they ever join us when we do that anyway, so I should probably know better by now. And we didn't kill him, so that's good. Let's go ahead and loot this guy, see if he's got anything worthwhile. Meh. That's pretty valuable. We can certainly take that. Black and chain shirt. That is, oh, look at the cell value, baby. Oh, yeah. All right, so we made it up to hang here. We're getting ready to siege the town currently. Uh, a little bit of an update in our moral support group. We no longer have Meep with us. Uh, it's totally my bad. I didn't catch it on camera, but I was trying to uh, move after I had trained him, uh, you know, from in 30 martial arts and 30 toughness down at this uh, martial village down here. I was moving him up to uh, Flats Lagoon, and I ran into a group of, must have been 30 beak things, and I tried to use my little technique of hitting R to get away, and uh, he just got hit in the leg one time, and that was it, and then he died, so I would have sent one of my really fast guys down there, like 
uh, Rykon or Sabouts or something to pick him up and run back with him. Of course, he's not he's still not faster than Beak Things, but he could at least kill Beak Things. And I think since we don't have anyone that's fast enough to outrun Beak Things, I probably should have taken my whole group down there to get him. Uh, but I did say that if he makes it up here, then he gets to be part of the team. And Meep didn't make it, so sorry, guys. <laughs> um I'll use Meep at some point in another playthrough or something. So, Okay, we are up at Hang. We're ready to go. We've got our camp set up back here. And as you know, guys, what I like to do to figure out where to put my camp is just hit Shift F12, go to Nav Mesh, and go to Roads. And then I look for where the roads are, right? I don't want my camp right next to a road, okay? And there aren't any roads right here. Now, that doesn't mean NPCs won't path through here because sometimes they will. Uh, but they won't, it's not a direct path, right? There's not a road where there's lots and lots of NPCs that are going to be going there. So, um, yep, got a camp set up, got everybody healed up, ready to go. C-Lab Team 6 hasn't changed yet, but it will soon. Uh, the only other two people that we have really are, are Sabouts and Nurse, and I didn't switch them out because uh, they're both pretty strong, so I don't know that it matters. Um, but we do want to get new people in here. Okay, uh, another thing here I want to show you really quick. I want just want to zoom in on these Samurai. I added two mods. There's a lovely, lovely young lady who is making new armor mods, and they look gorgeous. I mean, it's so simple, right? But that's Kenshi. I mean, it matches the motif. Like, you see all these new armor mods come out that are all flashy, and, and they look super cool, but they don't fit Kenshi at all. You know, like, there was some samurai armor that came out at one point that was just super cool looking, but it just doesn't fit Kenshi. And this does. Look at how it's all dingy, and it just looks gorgeous, and it fits really well. So anyway, um, I will add those mods to the collection. So by the time you're watching this video, you will, uh, those mods will be in the collection. And they're by a, a lady named Nia, I think. I don't know how she pronounces her name. It's N-I-I-Y-A, I believe. And so um, one possibility for this new outlaw farmer could be that. So let me know what you think about that, guys. If you know any other female uh, celebrities, um, yeah. Anyway, check out her mods and give her a thumbs up if you think uh, her armor looks cool. Now, there's some Nomad pants that I added, too. We'll see those at some point, but we haven't seen them yet. Okay, now, you know, when I like to Siege a City, I like to do some recon really quick. I just want to take a look and see what we've got here for turrets. We've got two turrets over here, and I believe there's a couple turrets on this side as well. Now, I do not want to get caught by those turrets, and I want to get into this town and get into a building. So, I think because the dust storm is going on, Rykon should be fast enough to get inside while sneaking. Oh, the dust storm looks like it just stopped. Uh, I don't know if I like that. Uh, so either way, I do want to get in here with him. I Hopefully he does not get detected before I get in this building. Come on, buddy. There we go. Okay, so I want that door open. And also, we want to get up here and knock out these turret guards, right? Only Oh, that's right, because he's not sabouts. All right, guys. Mm. Okay, um... Oh, yeah. His chances to do this are not uh, nearly what Sabouts are. So, oh, God. This is really risky. But so is running into town, right? Without... Because those turrets are really high up on a wall, guys. Um, let's take a look. Are there any turrets or anything covering the bridge? No, there are not. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any troops on the bridge either. Okay. And what about turrets on this side? Okay, there's no turrets on this side. So that's our entry point. We're going over here. Um, yeah, I was hoping to do it from the front gate because it seems a little harder, but I don't like the idea of those turrets. So let's get over here and take that gate. All right, so when I ran out of the, the town, um, Rykon got de-stealthed, and we had a bunch of people come after us. Luckily, he did not get hit by any turrets, so we're going to go ahead and take out these samurai. We're going to get in there with Hatsune, and then uh, once she engages, the rest of everybody else should also. Okay, nice hit, nice hit. We got lots of green going on here. Rykon trying to charge into the back. He's not quite getting the hits he needs. He's getting blocked a lot. That's surprising, considering he's the one and only mighty Rykon. All right, nice. Viticus coming in there to help him. We got these anti-slavers just absolutely dominating with us. It's super handy. All right, here we go. We're getting in on this gate. Shouldn't be a problem. 
go ahead and attack this front guy, and then everybody should engage after Hatsune gets engaged. There we go. Everybody's charging. We got the anti-slavers coming in just super hard. So much damage. Oh, my God. Just crushing this group. We are going to take a little bit of damage, of course, but no big deal, baby. No big deal. All right, come on, Tobel. Get in there, buddy. Tobel's just kind of chilling, doing nothing. He's always working hard. He's just taking a break. Oh, man, look at these anti-slavers. They're so fast. <laughs> oh, yeah. Crushing that. It must be the gate sergeant, right? Yeah. They definitely take longer to kill, for sure, because they're all wearing specialists. All right, now that we've cleared the gate, we need to be sure that there's no turrets on the wall. I was sort of assuming that, but... Uh, and now I have checked this wall. There's no turrets there, but what I meant to say really was no turrets, like, on the buildings, right? Because sometimes they'll put turrets around the edge... And I don't really remember some of these cities specifically. It looks like there's quite a few Traders Guild people in town. I don't see any turrets anywhere, though. No turrets up here, anything. So I think we can we can um, get in here and sort of just kind of creep up in and kind of post up right here and see who comes to fight us. We will have some guys come to fight us. Let's get over here. and Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, the anti-slavers are aggroing, so that's fine. We'll let them get in that fight. We'll get over here. All right, Rykon, Tobol, Shidan getting up in there quick. We got an anti-slaver backing us up here. Nice. Taking this guy down real quick. We got people waiting to fight, though. That's one. That's not the best. Okay, we got a lot of people going over there. What I want to watch is Tobol, though, because Tobol's kind of off on his own. Now, he is with an anti-slaver, so that, that guy's pretty strong. And we don't want people going across the bridge. We're okay with people fighting over here. Rodima coming in with a nice heavy swing. Let's see if he gets it. He connects and the guy goes down. No problem. Oh, I love seeing that big old weapon, man. It's, you know, once that thing gets fast, it's going to be insane. Like once his strength gets up high enough. Okay, now Viticus is charging off here. He's getting engaged. Ooh, I think uh, we got Tobol, Rykon, and Hatsune all running over here to back him up. So that's okay. All right, got them down. Got the alarm raised. That's okay. Let's take a look. I think pretty much everybody in this courtyard is down. We are going to have to clear that building. All right, here we go. Getting into the barracks here. Doesn't look like there's anybody downstairs. Let's take a look upstairs. Oh, there's one guy. All right, we can go ahead and send Hatsune up there. Let her get the fight started. Here we go. Everybody getting mixed in. Oh, she's getting pushed into the wall. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Right, come on, guys. Here we go. You get pushed upstairs. Let's focus on Rodamon. Actually, it looks like he got pushed outside. I don't know where the hell he is. Yeah, he's outside. Getting cremated by a Viticus. Taking care of him, no problem. And he's on the ground. All right. Looks like Shidon went down in the process. Oh, it's a samurai captain. That's why I was wondering, like, why he was so strong. Okay, let's go ahead and get Rykon up here. He's uh, stealthing away. Let's see what we can see up in this building here. Um, who are these? Are all free traders? Hmm. These don't seem like our enemies. Oh, he does. Traders Guild, definitely our enemy. Okay, so we got a samurai heavy there. Upstairs, ooh, a throne with Longin on it. Okay, I think he's the leader of the Traders Guild, or at least one of them. I think he is the leader of the Traders Guild. Okay, um, his stats are kind of garbage actually, so I'm not exactly worried about him. Yandu or Yamdu? Hmm, interesting. Following leader. Okay. All right. And then we got a samurai captain. He's going to be pretty tough. What else do we got? A couple heavies up here. Doesn't look like a whole lot of action. And I think with these slave anti-slavers with us, we're just going to absolutely crush this stuff. Uh, looks like we got some more. Oh, another samurai captain. Okay. Uh, some guards, samurai captain. Ooh, okay. So we got a few samurai captains upstairs. So I think what really what we want to do is just clear that first floor and see if anybody comes down to us. And I think if the uh, traders, or sorry, if the anti-slavers charge up in there, then we're going to get up there with them. Okay, okay. 
Um, now what I'd really like to do is get my tanks in here first. Ah, I turned around at the wrong time too. That's a bummer. Oh, well, whatever. Oops. Okay, let's get in there. Very nice. Let's watch those the ramps, see if anybody comes down. We're kind of just crushing these dudes down here. Very nice. I love that we're wearing samurai, like, empire armor while we're killing these dudes. Where are these guys going? There's nobody down here that's our enemy. I am kind of curious, though. Is it these dudes? What are these, samurai rogues? A free trader going home. Oh, they're getting they're getting attacked by samurai rogue. What a bunch of jerks. I think we're just coming out here to attack these guys. Oh jeez. <laughs> Poor guy. Who was that anyway? What was that? That was just a citizen. Poor dude. All right, looks like we're getting in some fights up here. Actually, I think it's just the anti-slavers that are getting in fights without us. <laughs> Let's go ahead and attack this samurai captain. Get mixed in with him. Rykon and Hatsune getting in there right away. Nice slow attacks, as usual, with that heavy hammer. Let's focus on Hatsune so we can follow her up here. Trying to get a swing in. Rykon getting up there nice and deep. Okay. Uh, who's this dude? Oh, that's one of our anti-slaver buddies. Oh, and it looks like we actually missed the fight. <laughs> he may actually be on the ground already, probably. These anti-slavers. Yeah, he's right there. I think these anti-slavers just absolutely wrecked these dudes. Okay. Oh, he's got some money for us. A few thousand cats here and there. Oh, and he's got a Mato longsword. We'll take that. Thank you very much, sir. And some more Masterwork Drifter's Boots. We'll certainly use those on somebody until we get Masterwork um, Combat Boots made. All right, so I'm going to clean this up. We'll take a look at the, the loot on uh, in the building after we've cleared the top floor. Uh, although it looks like most everybody woke up and came and fight, except for this guy. He's just chilling. The Samurai Captain. He's just having a lazy day at work. He's like, yeah, I can't, be, I can't even be bothered to do my job, protect the noble. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a lazy bum. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is go to get over here on the other side and um cuz I so let me tell you about a little mistake I made the first time I ever played Kenshi when it comes to sacking the United Cities. And it it isn't obvious, doesn't really tell you in the game. Um but when you take out their they may have been fixed, I don't know, but I don't think so. I haven't seen anything in the patch notes. What happened to me was I killed this uh, sorry, long in here, right? And then I pushed over into this city. Now I, I was, I took a break and came back. And when I came back, the city had already sort of changed hands and there was no noble here for me to assassinate. And because in order to flip this city, all you have to do is kill Longin or the noble, I believe. Maybe just Longin, I'm not sure. But either way, I didn't get to kill both of these. And then the noble house was gone. And so because of that, I was never able to completely take down the United Cities because this guy was, he was here, um, but he wasn't, right? Like he wasn't in the game, but it hadn't been flagged as in he was dead. So there was a game progression state that was kind of locked because of that. So make sure when you're here, uh, you're ready to do both at the same time. So the, so in case we need to, um, you know, I, the first thing I'm going to do crossing this bridge is I'm going to get over there. Like, I'm going to try to make my way from house to house. Uh, there is a barracks here, so we're probably going to stop in the barracks first just to clear that out. And then we're going to then we're gonna move over to this residential and then hit up, um, hit this guy up. So we're going to get over this bridge um, and we're going to get into uh, this, this barracks over here. So let's do exactly that. Looks like there's just a bunch of guys running around. Nothing too crazy, I don't think. And it looks like the anti-slavers are going to run around and hopefully kill people too, so that'll be good. First thing for us is to just get into this barracks and get it clear. How many guys are in here? There's definitely a few. 
Nothing too crazy, though. All right, Hatsune, I want you on this dude. Oop, let's slow that down. All right, we got some guys coming down from downstairs. Uh, who is this? Oh, it's just a citizen. That's fine. All right, looks like we're nice and deepening in our engagement here. Hatsune's doing okay. She's holding her own over there. Tobel's just kind of dominating this samurai, it looks like. Just looking so good. And he's actually, um, he went down earlier, didn't he? No, it was Shidan. Okay. Where's Shidan at? Okay, Shidan's doing good. No problem. Now, we had somebody just run outside. It was Rykon. I don't normally worry about him running off and doing his own thing. He's pretty, he's pretty boss nasty, right? I mean, let's take a look, right? Yeah. 61, 64. Are you kidding me? Dude's a monster. All right. Just hammering this samurai here. Got a few people outside. We're just kind of cleaning up at this point. Looks like we have a samurai left inside as well. No problem. There we go, guys. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Okay. So it looks like we're just going to band-aid up here. Actually, Hatsune looks to be just ready to take the next fight. Uh, maybe not yet, girl. Uh, everybody's going to band-aid up. Okay, let's let them do that. I think these anti-slavers are just going to kind of clean up the town for us, which is nice. And we'll see what... I kind of want to see what they do, but... Yeah, look at that. Just limbs flying off everywhere. Is he band-aiding this guy? I think he might have just been looting. I kind of want to just watch these guys for just a second here. Okay, they're done. They're done doing their cleanup. All right, we're kind of posted up over here. Uh, there's turrets up there still. I don't want to engage them quite yet. What I really want is for them to engage the anti-slavers and have the anti-slavers run up there and kill them for me. Uh, if, if we still need to, when we're done with this noble house, we will deal with them. But for now, we're going to get in here and we're going to kill this noble. As soon as Rykon gets the door open for us, let's go ahead and speed that up a little bit. Make it a little bit easier. There we go. All right. See what we got inside of here. All right. Who is this? Lord Yoshinaga. Ooh, look at that weapon. Got some purple. I really like uh, that the new weapons dissemination mod includes that pack that, you know, makes each one of those weapons look different because there's a whole bunch of them, but they're all different luxury items. So kind of our typical setup here, you know, five or so of these uh, guards. All right, cool. So what we really want to do, I'm going to get Rykon back out here. Actually, what... I'll probably do. I don't think it'll matter. Uh, let's go ahead and put hold on everybody. I just want to try something. Okay. We're going to turn off sneak. And we're going to run out of here. There we go. Let's just get over here in this building. All right. Here goes nothing, boys. We'll let these anti-slavers engage. Looks like the Hilar Icon's just going to get right in there, dude. All right, here we go. This is going to be a quick fight. One way or the other, probably. I think we're going to dominate these dudes. Yeah, there we go. There's so much going on. It's so hard to see and commentate. Like, you know, I don't even think it matters having a small group. I think it's just like once, a, you know, once the combat is so fast, it's just really hard to, like, keep up. Like, look at how fast these anti-slavers are attacking. It's nuts. Like, it's just really hard to actually, like, keep up mentally with, like, how fast the combat gets late game. All right, I'm going to clean these guys up. Oh, oh, the Lord is on the ground right there. Sweet. This is exactly what we want. Let's take a look at his weapon. It's a very luxury Tachi. Yeah. Thing looks gorgeous. Okay, who do we want to... Let's pick that up with somebody. Who's got room? Anyway, I'm going to clean these guys up. And then we'll go... Uh, I, I don't even know if we're going to bother looting that barracks. Just look at how much... Look how many weapons we have. Like, we have weapons that are worth 3K, like, on everybody. We just don't have room for the rest of that crap. And our we're already full back at our base. Like, I I wasn't able to even sell everything. Our makeshift base, whatever. Yeah, look at this. I mean, 7,000, right? 7,000. Like, there's so many weapons in here that are just worth so much. And Mark three, Mark two, like, uh, you know, specialist grade chain worth, you know, almost three, well, 2,200, I guess. Just uh, a lot, of, a lot of good stuff, guys. 
Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that masterwork dust coat. Oh, taking it. Taking it. God, that's sexy. Tobal, you can have it since you found it, buddy. There you go. We'll keep that one for anybody who needs an extra dust coat. Sweet. All right, the noble's down. I'm not going to worry about getting in there and dealing with any of that. Um, you know, we're looting all this crap or anything. I suppose we could unlock those chests to get some skill, but I'm just going to skip it. I don't really care. Um, we're going to make our own base here pretty soon, and we're not going to need money anymore really for anything at that point. Uh, so, yeah, let's get up here and take these guys down. Oops, didn't mean to double click on that. I was. All right, let's get up here with Rodamont and get up here with Hatsune. And I think the anti slavers will jump in and help us. We'll get the rest of our team up there. There we go. Yeah, no problems. Just knocking those guys down. So it looks like pretty much all we have left is one guy on a turret, and uh, we're about to take him down. So we'll get in here with Rykon. Rykon shouldn't. Oh. He's just not going to engage, I guess, unless we manually tell him to. There we go. Let's get up there and get him. Come on, Rikon. There you go, buddy. Nice. Viticus coming in with him. Nice. Man, it just doesn't take much for these guys to knock. Because, uh, you know, they're wearing shoddy grade. Like, the guys that are wearing really, really nice armor definitely takes a lot, a bit longer to kill them. But with those guys wearing shoddy, it's just a couple hits and they're done. Who's this? A free trader. Let's go talk to this dude, see what he has to say. I don't know that I've ever talked to a free trader before. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What pants is he wearing? No, man. For a second there, I thought he was wearing those new pants that I got. She, I should say. She lets out a sigh. She looks irritated by your presence. Uh, You're a trader, right? Sure, sure. Just make it quick. I do abhor the presence of sweaty gorillas. Do you have a problem with me? What can I say? Being enslaved by holy nation grunts of your kind makes a woman a tad bitter towards so -called, her so-called brothers. What? Why does she think I'm holy nation? That's a little weird. Uh, Yeah, let's see what you've got. Cool. I, get, I mean, I guess we, we're not going to sell that. Uh -uh. Look at that, dude. 6K. We'll take some of your money. Thank you. Uh, 2167. There we go. Oh, no, we're not going to fence that. Dang it. No. Okay. All right. I guess because we stole that from the Traders Guild. Maybe that's why. I'm not really sure. Okay, cool. Well, we're going to head back to base and drop this stuff off, guys, because that is the end of Traders Edge and Hang. And at this point, we need to start putting together... Uh, a base although i think we'll wait until after we take heft right we'll take heft first and once we've taken heft then we will set up our base all right guys we're finally gonna do it we are finally gonna do it i i'm really not a fan of these um these guys but uh i really like the garu i, I don't like the garu very much i feel like they get stuck on stuff way too much and i don't like the way they look when they fight um they are faster, so that's definitely one thing they have going for them. But I don't need them to be any faster, really, than uh, my group. And my tanks are always going to be um, slow until they get their strength up that's super high. So, And bulls are always going to be faster than my tanks anyway. So if at some point we need something faster, we'll get something faster. All right. Now, I always... Uh, it looks like we don't really have a choice here, but I always get the oldest animals i know some people like to buy young ones because they're cheaper but not me because you have to wait for them to mature the longer that takes the less the longer time it takes for them to get strong so um i usually like to have two pack animals with me uh, so i can really load up and not have to worry about sort of like um unloading often i think with a small group i don't necessarily like to have that many but uh in this case I think I'm going to take, I think I'm going to grab two. So we'll grab these guys. Okay, we got Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Let's do it. How fast are they currently? 11 miles an hour. Yeah, they're just going to be slow for a bit. That's fine. Oh, that's interesting. Why do they have different hunger rates? Oh, they don't. Just for some reason it showed us 200 for a bit. That's weird. What is going on here? What? 
Oh, there's a rebel farmer bone dog, like, eating the nomad goats. <laughs> oh, poor, poor goats, man. Reminds me of all the goats in uh, Nookrium's playthrough, man. Just goat after goat after goat, just dying one after another. Wonderful playthrough, by the way. But uh, definitely, definitely a comedy to watch, that's for sure. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll just have him follow the bulls. Okay, guys. So, at this point, uh, we've pretty much got all of our... I, I had to build a couple, um, you know, weapons containers to put some weapons in, of course, because we brought back a ton of weapons. Uh, we're going to leave our bulls here until they're older. They're so slow for a very long time until they're adults. Once they're adults, we can start training their athletics, but I'm not going to carry them around with me. Uh, it's just kind of a pain in the butt. Um, and you can do that, right? You can just bring your bulls with you, and then you can just basically carry them on your shoulder. Uh, we could do that, but I don't really want to. Um, so I'm going to leave them here until they're adults. Once they're adults, we'll start taking them with us everywhere. Uh, and yeah, so we've got these full. Now, another thing I did is I bought some, um, I bought some, you know, research books next door. And so we will essentially start researching. And I'm not going to research a lot because I don't really want to research until we've actually built our base. I don't like doing the research ahead of time. I feel like it makes the base fence too easy. Uh, I don't think base defense is very challenging. It is early on, but once you get the stronger gate um, and you get the turrets and you get those towers, like it becomes really easy. And I don't even close my gate after a while. I just bait, like when I fought Igor, I didn't close my gate. I just left. I had five really, really strong guys in the front gate in in masterwork armor, and I had eight turrets that were the strongest turrets you can get with guys that have really high skill. I mean, it just it just wasn't hard. So. Um, any hoozle, what are we going to do? We are going to start researching only to the point where we can get uh, cages, right? Because I want to basically put a prisoner in a cage and then use the recruit prisoners mod to clean armor so that I don't have to run and find a plat. Uh, so I don't have to run and find a new recruit every time. I can just pick up the same guy, kick him from our team, knock him out, put him in the, the cage, and then recruit him. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and then after that, we are going to head up to heft here because this is the last city in the northern desert that we need to take and once we've taken that then we can start building our base and then push down south and take the rest of these slave camps and the cities that are left over so and we're going to do that guys in the next episode so stay tuned and thank you all so much for watching i really had a ton of fun with you guys today like um it's it's even hard to commentate i was thinking if we made a smaller team it'd be you know easier to commentate but i think what it really is is this, the combat speed is so fast that it's hard for my slow old brain to keep up. So I'll keep working on it and try to get better at it. Uh, it'll take time, but I'll, I'll certainly get faster. Anyway, if you guys had as much fun as I did, let me know by cursing that like button. And thank you all so much for the support. It means the world to me. As always, guys, I can't wait to see you again for some more gaming shenanigans. Love ya!